how he's brilliant, he's fearless, he wears the oddest clothes, and he's returned in time to save the world. Doctor Who is back, and for his latest adventure, he's in the movies in a joint venture between the BBC and Universal Television to be broadcast in America today. He's also been transported into an age that the original time travellers never foresaw, a world of convincing sets and dazzling effects. You want dominion over the living, yet all you do is kill! It's a big-budget movie packed with spectacular stunts and special effects. The Doctor, the most famous time traveller in the universe, once again has to save the world from the evil clutches of his arch-rival, the Master. It's all light-years away from the distinctly low-budget television series which saw the Daleks first invade our living rooms in the 1960s. So has the new Doctor Who gone too far down the Hollywood path in a bid to attract an American audience? I hope it doesn't get accused of doing that, but I mean, I think certain people are going to, because of the very size of the budget, it obviously is bigger and it obviously has a bigger effect and bigger chases and everything. People are going to say, aha, it's a, it's a, it's a Hollywood version of Doctor Who, but I, I hope that it's still got the integrity and it'll reach the British audience as well. Hundreds of fans of the original series queued for hours in London's Piccadilly for a chance to see a special preview of the new film. Most seem to approve of the Doctor's latest incarnation. McGann is an inspired choice. He's got these incredible staring eyes. And he can act. He can act like Billio. A lot of people do this up. A lot of people spend a lot of time making costumes so that they, they, they can look like their hero. Um, well, it's supposed to be uh, John Pertwee, the third Doctor. I got it from um, charity shops. Like the, the jacket only cost five pounds and the shirt was like 50p. Over the years, it's not just the faces that have changed. It seems that now even the doctor has been forced to move with the times. film has been released on American television today and will reach our screens by the end of the month. Kerry Johnston, BBC News. I think that was all rather outdone by a special effect of our own where Sarah Coburn appeared as Doctor Who. <laughs> uh, she might try to repeat that now, so time. time